Hey guys, it's Rick. Today I want to talk about um, the phrase, in the name of Jesus. Um, it's a phrase that gets misused very often by um, Christians, by pre people in church. And um, it's, it's people don't understand how you're really supposed to use that phrase, um, what it really means. A lot of people think, you know, you can get whatever you want, and all you got to do is just at the end of it say, in the name of Jesus, and God's going to give it to you because he loves you so much. And he's... He wants to give you everything that you ever wanted. So let's test that theory right now. Lord, give me a million dollars in Jesus' name. <laughs> let's see if that works. Um, I don't see nothing in my hands. Nothing. It didn't work. Oh, wow. I guess it didn't work that way. It don't work that way. Um, also, people try to use that as like um, as if you have God's seal of approval on something you're, you want to do. And... We're going to do this in Jesus' name. Okay. Maybe Jesus didn't even want you to do it at all, but you're going to say it in Jesus' name. And just you, the fact you said that is going to all of a sudden make it get God's seal of approval. I don't know. You still don't get it. That's not how you use in the name of Jesus. Um, the phrase is something, basically it's you are praying something and you are standing in belief as if Jesus was there. Um, let's say uh, if you're praying for someone, you feel God led you to pray for them, and you, you feel like God tells you lay your hand on them, pray for them, and you pray. You believe that Jesus is going to do it. He's going to heal them. And you say, in the name of Jesus, meaning as if Jesus was standing here right now, I am praying this prayer because if he was physically here like he was back then, he would do this. Um, and this is what he wants me to do. This is his will right now at this moment. Um, so you're, you're, Jesus isn't physically there, but you are in his name. You are his representative. You are his ambassador on the earth. So you are doing this in Jesus' name, in his stead, sort of, um, so that it's not you. It's nothing to do with you. It's something that you're doing in his place. You're standing in his place doing what he would do. Um, think of like power of attorney. When someone has the power of attorney, like my mom's got power of attorney over anything to do with my dad. Um, he, his mind is messed up. He had a stroke. And so he can't talk for himself. He cannot represent himself. So any major decisions that need to be done goes through my mother. She's the power of attorney. She represents him. She she does things for him because he's not capable here of doing it. Sort of kind of like that. Um, it's like Jesus gave you the power of attorney. And but you still have to do what he wants you to do. But you are you are they can't see him, but they can't see you. So you are standing and you are saying, in the name of Jesus, as if Jesus was here. Um, say like a um, Say like you have a dad and you work in a car auto place and you're 16 years old. Your dad says, hey, I need you to go to the car parts store and tell them you need this, whatever it is. And tell them just put it on my tab. And he's going to be like, but he doesn't even know me. Just go there and tell him that you're my son, that... I'm asking you to put it on my tab. If you need to call to verify, just call and I'll say it's fine. So that's another way to kind of look at it too. The son is not the dad. The son doesn't have the money to pay for it. But father sent him to go in his name to go get that object. You kind of I hope you're following me. Um, and even that, you can't just willy-nilly use it and say, well, let's see, Jesus would do this. You, you have a spirit inside of you that tells you right from and to, that you can hear God when he tells you something. Don't just do what you think. You know, pray, ask God for direction. Um, if you mess around with this, you can get in trouble. Now, I'm thinking of now that in the book of Acts, the seven sons of Sceva, a lot of people know this story, and they saw Paul, and they saw that how he had been casting out demons and they watched him trying to catch a method of how does he do it 
Um, so what they did was they saw Paul and they saw him doing it in the name of Jesus, saying those words, and they said, you know what, let's try this, let's try this out. <laughs> so they go and they find this demon um, possessed guy and uh, they go to his house and they're like, well, we command you demon come out in the name of Jesus, you know, the one that Paul preaches. And what do the demons say? Paul I know, and Jesus I know, but who are you? And the team basically beat the heck out of them, um, all of them, so bad that they all ran fleeing out of the house naked, the Bible says. That's how bad they got beat down. So, again, you, it's not just saying the words like it's a magic spell, okay? It's, please, church, please, stop doing things as if it's a magic spell, okay? It's just the same thing with the sinner's prayer. It's not just the fact that you go up there and say, Lord, I, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins, and um, you're my Savior, and um, thank you for dying for me, and that's it. And then you walk away, and nothing changes, but you think in your mind, well, they told me I have to just say these words, and if I just say these words, then... I'm going to go to heaven, and so now I'm just going to go back to my life and do everything like I used to do, and nothing is going to change, because he already told me, I say, I said those words, and now I'm done, so I can just live any way I want to. No, no, okay, prayer is not witchcraft, come on, God is not stupid, you know, he sees what's in your heart, and you got to do what's right, um, so again, in the name of Jesus is not just a thing you can just really nearly say, and just make it look like you know this is what God wants and because I said in the name of Jesus that's what God wants no no okay cult leader no you gotta find out what God wants and you are in his place doing it here on the earth so get it right you don't just say in the name of Jesus for everything you're saying it because you are here in his place saying it because this is what he wants you to do okay so I hope that makes sense. Hope I made it clear. Uh, so next time you say the name of Jesus, think about what you're doing um, and get it right. All right. <laughs> hope this helps you guys. I love you. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.